Well, hey guys, Dave Anderson here. Hey, uh, Bill and I are at Victron today. We're gonna do some training. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. But is AM Solar. AM Solar, right on. Eugene, Oregon. So I'm a little bit away from home today. <laughs> <laughs> I wanna check out the area here. So that is what we're gonna be going through today, I hope, and uh, we ought to have some good Good training today, I think. What do you think, Bill? We're a little early, they're still setting up, but I'm looking forward to it. Right on, me too. tax purposes. Let's go, Brandon. Well, here it is, guys. I love these solar panels. And hey, I got the t-shirt and I got the hat. Training was good and training is complete. Here's something that I really want to show you about this panel. It is, it is going to blow your mind. All right, so it is a single panel, but it has two leads coming off of it. Now, what this is, is two panels in one, 12 volt side, 12 volt side. The beauty of this is you can get a pigtail that is made up for either parallel or series. So if you wanna keep 12 volt, you can, but if you want to go 24 volt, all you have to do is hook up a pigtail to it and you're pushing 24 volts. So this is all it is. They just make up these pigtails and you decide. You decide. So for me, I'm going to, of course, be running 24 volts, but you could run 24, you could run 36, you could run 48. You could kind of do really whatever you want to. And that's what I really like about this setup. Oh, by the way, it also comes with all of the mounting hardware, the inline fuse, all kinds of stuff. It, it's, it's all packaged up and ready to go. So all I have to do is slap the thing on there. It is just that easy. I wanna show you one more thing. All right, all right. It came with two more things. So 30 feet of 10 gauge wire. Why? Because, well, it's gonna to have to go on the roof of Malachi, on the ceiling up there so, so that I can, uh, you know, come on down the back side, all the way to the front side, all the way back to the batteries. 30 feet, that's what I got. Let's see if it fits. Last thing is this really cool MPPT. So this is all I need. And, and really all it is is a float charger. And its job is to determine if the batteries need any power and sends the power appropriately from what the panels are making. This little guy is pumping out just a little bit of signal and you can hook your Bluetooth phone right up to it, pair it up with this thing, and you can start controlling, you can start figuring out what the voltage is, it'll give you graphs and all that kind of stuff. So this is a really cool little item. Um, I'm gonna mount this right inside the battery box. Let's get working on it while I have a little bit of dry weather. Well, it looks like my YouTube symbol is gonna have to go away because that's where it's gonna be, right up there. <sighs> Piece of cake. Well, I haven't gotten a good look at this. I believe I can run the wire right down this rail here. And um, I think I'm gonna just tap in, put a hole right here, put a, a, a rubber grommet I can run it on this side of the mud flap 
and just do another couple of holes, put grommets in there. And then I have one more down by the hinge. And if I can run the wire, I think I'm gonna probably run it alongside these uh, wires. Actually, that's uh, air, airline and hydraulics. And it'll come all the way back and right into the battery box, which is, of course, right there. All right, got my holes drilled where I need them. And I'm starting to get my grommets in. <sighs> this is going to be cool. It also maintains the look of the truck because, you know, other than that black plastic corner protector, I really can't see it from down below. Even with my camera up high, over my head. There it is. All right, this is eye level. Alrighty, I don't know if you can tell, but it is all hooked up. Makes it easy just having that pigtail, let me tell you what. This is about the easiest install ever. When you're trying to get these things through these uh, rubber grommets, a couple little tips. Okay, first is to make a tip. This is just out of duct tape. And the other tip is to use a little bit of uh, Vaseline. And I tell you what, makes these things go a whole lot easier. Well guys, I know you haven't heard from me in quite a while and well, it's because I really injured my back. <laughs> I don't know what the heck the deal was. I was pulling the wire through. I came out from behind the tire and I was just in some pretty severe pain. Uh, so it's been like six days later and I've been just laid up for six days straight. I am on the mend. So let's uh, finish up this video. It's not going to be today though, because I am just got back from the chiropractor for the second visit and uh, I'm still not 100%, not even 75% yet. So I'll get back to this in the next day for you. It's going to seem like right away. Thanks for hanging in there. All right, guys, so I've taken a few more days to heal up. I'm not at 100%, maybe 75 now, but uh, I got to get out of the house. I'm going stir crazy. So what I'm going to do uh, today is add a little bit of this loom to this wire that's coming into the battery box just to protect it from any kind of rocks being thrown up by the tire. So the line comes in all the way through on the back side and of course this is just how i wired it in yours is going to be different the reason why i didn't show any of this is because wiring is rather boring if you would rather me show you uh all of the work just to do the wiring and you know cutting splicing blah 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 all that kind of thing say so in the comments i'll see if i can work it in next time but to me i figure that's just boring stuff. I'll just put it together for you. Okay, so it comes out of here and I've already got it cut. So I'm gonna put this uh, inline fuse on the positive side, just so that uh, the MPPT is protected on the battery side and it's gonna go right into the equalizer, the, the 24 volt side of the equalizer. 
Um, and of course, uh, ground will be here. Now you can also put an inline fuse coming from the solar panels into the MPPT. And that is just a very quick way to pull the fuse to disconnect the uh, power supply. Um, and you don't have to put a switch in. You just pull the fuse, quick disconnect. That's, that's all it is. To me, um, you know, I could easily quick disconnect it from up there to pull that, uh, <laughs> pull the pigtail out and it's disconnected. Um, I don't really need to do this. It's just anytime I want to work on it, let's say, um, I can pull that and, and be off of the system. Batteries are disconnected with these nice uh, disconnects. And now I'm gonna hook up the ground to ground and 24 volt to 24 volt. the sun has gone down now so I'm not gonna get very much all right here's the next day sun is out and it is showing charging bulk load everything is operating well I'm liking it. So a couple things that you need to make sure that you do. And one of them, of course, is to read the instruction manual. So the first thing you wanna do is hook up the load, which I don't have any load on this one. The second thing is to hook it up to the batteries so that the controller knows that it's 12 volt or 24 volt, it sets everything up right. And then the last thing is to hook it up to the solar panels. And then it'll start charging just fine. And away we go. Well, hey guys, I hope you got something out of this. If you did, smash on that like button. And if you're not a subscriber, love to have you a subscriber. Go ahead and click that subscribe and ring the bell. That would be awesome. And you'll get to see cool videos like this all the time. Stay tuned to the very end because I have a special announcement for you. Until next time, guys, I'm Dave Anderson signing out. You guys be safe and God bless. Hey, if you would like to support this ministry of getting these sleeping bags to the homeless, you can donate today. For just an average of, say, five bucks, you can help us get one of these sleeping bags, a four-piece sleeping bag, for those that are less fortunate than you. Please won't you help support the Lewis County Gospel Mission Sleeping Bag Program. Thanks so much. We've supported the program for years, and it is a wonderful way to spend your money. For just five bucks, one cup of coffee a month could give a homeless person a warm bed for a year. Click on the link in the description for an easy way to donate. Thanks so much.